good day. Today we're going to perform obtaining a capillary blood glucose or CBG. The purpose of this is to monitor and determine blood glucose levels of client at risk for hyperglycemia and hypoglycemia. It also um, perform uh, to promote blood glucose regulation by the client and to evaluate the effectiveness of insulin administration. For the equipment, um, we need a blood glucose meter, a blood glucose uh, region strip compatible to the meter, a 2x2 gauze pad, a warm cloth or um, other warming device and it is also uh, optional, an antiseptic swab, a clean gloves. Steril lancet and a lancet ejector. For the assessment, before obtaining a capillary blood specimen, we should determine the policies and procedure of the facility. Also, we, uh, we need to determine the frequency and type of testing, the client's understanding of the procedure, the client's response to the um, previous testing, and we, we should also to uh, determine and assess the client's skin um, at the puncture site to determine um, if it is uh, intact and the circulation is not compromised. And then we need to review the client's medical record um, for medication that may um, prolong bleeding um, such as anticoagulant or medical problems. Um, also, we need to assess the client's um, self-care abilities that might affect the accuracy of the test result. For planning, we need to review the type of meter um, in the manufacturer's instructions. And then assemble all the equipment um, at the bedside uh, for us to uh, easy access. And then introduce ourselves and verify the client's identity. Since today um, I'm going to be the patient, so no need to verify myself. Um, next, um, we need to explain the procedure to the client, what we are going to do, um, why is it so necessary, and how uh, she or he can participate to this um, kind of procedure. Next, perform hand hygiene and observe um, appropriate infection prevention procedure. Next, we need to provide the um, client's privacy by closing the doors and the windows of the room. Also, we need to prepare the equipment. Um, some meter turns on um, when the strip is uh, inserted to the meter and we should also calibrate the meter and run a control sample according to the manufacturer's instruction um, to confirm the code number. Um, the, the newer no-code models um, do not require cal calibration. Next, for um, implementation, we should apply clean gloves. Next, choose a vascular puncture site. Um, for example, for an adult finger, we um, should um, choose the side of the adult's finger, uh, avoid the beside bone, and wrap the finger first um, with a warm cloth. Um, hold the finger um, in dependent position or below the heart level. If the earlobe um, is used, rub it gently um, with a small piece of gauze. Um, this action um, increases the blood flow to the area. Next, um, we should clean the site um, with antiseptic swab and let it dry completely. Next, we should obtain the blood specimen, place the injector if used against the site, um, and release the needle, thus permitting it to first the skin. Make sure that the lancet is clean. Next, gently squeeze but do not touch the puncture site until the advocate blood covers the injector square.
The fat will absorb the blood and the chemical reaction will occur. Do not smear the blood. Some blood meters weak your blood um, by just touching the puncture site um, with a strip. Ask the client to apply pressure to the skin puncture site with a 2x2 gauze. Next, we should expose the blood to the test strip for the period and the manner of specified by the manufacturer. And as soon as the blood is placed on the strip, follow the manufacturer's recommendation of the glucose meter and monitor for the amount and time um, indicated in the ma by the manufacturer. And then, measure the blood glucose. And then number six, after the designated time, most glucose uh, meters will display the glucose reading automatically. And um, the correct timing um, ensures accurate um, results. Next, um, we should turn off the meter um, and discard the strip and 2x2 two two gauze pad. Um, discard the lancet and push up containers, and then remove and discard the gloves and perform hand hygiene. For evaluation, we need to compare the glucose meter reading um, with normal blood glucose level, um, status of the puncture site, uh, and um, motivate, uh, motivation of the client um, to perform the test independently. Also, we need to relate the, blood, um, the reading of the blood glucose level um, to the previous readings. And also, also we need to report um, any abnormal uh, results. Um, the primary care provider uh, and some agencies have um, standing policies uh, to obtain venipuncture blood glucose of the CBG exceeds a certain value. Next for documentation, we need to document the method um, of testing and results of the client's um, record. For documentation, um, we also need to document the, um, the method um, of testing the result um, of the client's record. And um, the client's record, um, we also include a flow sheet with capillary blood glucose. Um, um, the result of the amount, type, route, um, the time of insulin administration of the recorded. Um, always check the diabetic flow of the sheet um, being used for um, the client. And then third, um, and lastly, we need to check um, for orders of sliding scale insulin based on capillary blood glucose results and administer um, insulin as prescribed.